Hey guys, welcome back to more AFK Arena. In today's video, we're over on Kiasma's account. We do have the maxed out Leonardo, or well, the 30 signature item, as we like to call Max for testing. We still got tier two gear, but I don't think it really matters. The thing about this guy is he's not, he's a mage, but I don't think he's a damage dealer. He doesn't have the damage, even though he's cannon does do some decent damage he's more there as a cc slash damage increaser with his furniture and I, in this video what i want to do is i will make another video going through other comps and testing him but i think he has an amazing synergy with irons um i spoke with arty um a while back in a video about um top carries and how irons is in those top five carries but he's sort of down the lower end due to even though you can scale his damage so high it is damage scaling from his attack rating um which limits you know obviously the scaling potential of him however with leonardo you you're able to increase that damage even further along with having the extra cc to get to that point and i think he's going to be like a really nice addition to high deficit pushing irons teams but like i said we'll do another video covering other teams because if you're not at such a high deficit and your irons is getting wins anyway i feel like he will work in other teams as well anyway let's get into it Okay, so let's check out the thing that I am talking about, and that is going to be his nine furniture. Uh, here we have enemies that are struck by the ability work of art will receive 45% more damage for the following eight seconds. Now, on top of that, we do have his three furniture. So if, you if you're going to get that, we do have this one. He recovers an additional 10 energy points per second for every enemy that is covered in paint. Now, this is very important as well because this allows him to ult before irons most times uh, in, in, a, in an irons team, which is really fantastic because you're not playing it with Rowan, so they're not fighting for the potion. Uh, I think I think irons would get to the potion limit first. I can't remember. But, you know, this allows him to get to an ult before irons, which is huge. And then by that time, by, by the time he does ult, by the way it works in most fights, he will have four enemies painted, meaning he's going to entrap four enemies for eight seconds, but it's also going to give them damage received plus 45%, which is going to add to that iron scaling and just make his damage that much higher from his ultimate. So I think it's absolutely fantastic the way this works and his synergies there. Plus, I think he's just generally good as well. Uh, also, when we look at his skills, like I said, the cannon, fantastic getting that three second stun really, really easily. Uh, to be honest, like it's not a hard one to go ahead. Like, like you just get that stun. It's decent damage. It's not the greatest damage, but it's decent. But it buys you a bit of time. So in the Irons team, obviously we do normally have Merlin in there as well. It's a full dimensional team. I'll show you the team. Um, so you do get a damage mitigation, but being able to stun them for three seconds and just completely mitigate damage is really nice. So let's jump over and check it out. We'll test it in campaign at a lower sort of deficit, and then we'll go into tower and test it at a higher deficit. But like I said, it just adds at higher deficits more, I feel like more stability to the Irons team, making him just deal that extra damage. So we'll test this one here. So let's jump into it. Um, we'll leave it on one time speed just for the first look. Uh, so obviously we've got the Merlin in the team. We're getting that instant one from his nine furniture. We drop the cannon here. You can see that damage. Like, look at the K-Source. Look, look at them all. They actually take a fair chunk of damage from that. He is about to use his ult as well right now. Keeping in mind, he does do good damage because we are in not the biggest deficit in campaign. We'll test it in tower and get a better idea for high deficits. But there you go. They are in the frame at the moment, increasing that damage. And then there we go. Drops them dead. So... Not too bad. Uh, we should still get this one. It's just a matter of getting through that Brutus, but we do have Arthur alive still, so shouldn't be an issue. If is, Thank you. Thank you, Brutus, for dying. So that is that. But you can see that the cannon at this deficit actually did some pretty good damage. Did like 30 to 40% on most of the enemies. Uh, so let's jump in. We'll try it against a few of these teams as well. So let's swap it. Let's bring it down to this one. Uh, what is this enemy team? So... This enemy team, uh, it's going to be a little bit annoying. I don't think it'll be too bad. Hopefully, because Pippa's going to portal the Respin, so hopefully she doesn't portal him behind Arthur, because I think that would be annoying. Let's just see what happens here. So let's get a gauge for this one. So Pippa, what are you portaling? What are you portaling? 
Okay, he goes, oh, he's, he's Arthur. Arthur didn't turn around. Nice. So there's the cannon doing some decent damage once again. But most importantly, look at his energy. Look at his energy down the bottom. Uh, Alberto is going to ult. Oh, no, he goes ults first. And there we go. We get the four frames. Look at that. Right before irons. And if you had to, you could also... And, and just one-shots them. That's the thing I love about it. He gets it. Like, the timing on auto is pretty nice. But if you had to, you could manual it and just wait an extra second for him to ult before irons. Um, but that extra damage, just like one-shots... Uh, so let's go ahead. Let's try this against every team. And obviously, Irons is a stable team anyway, uh, even without him. But like I said, we'll, we'll, we'll do some more testing in King's Tower where, where we're at a higher deficit. I think it really adds some stability to it. Now, obviously, it is going to require that nine furniture investment. So this is more of a late game thing. Um, I personally really like Leonardo, so I'll probably go for his furniture on most of my accounts. Um, now, this one's going to be a bit different, but we can test out with his teleport thing um, and see how that goes. So let's just leave this team and see what happens. So I'd, I'd imagine he should do his teleport straight after that. Yeah, so he does his teleport up to the top. Uh, he's going to die. Okay, we can't use him there in that one, but let's go over here. Let's swap him for Merlin because I think Merlin will live it. I think Merlin should do okay here. Okay, Merlin gets the ult off. There we go. Yep, because then he goes into his form. Oh, we didn't get the stun on the Athalia, which kind of sucks. Uh, Arthur's going to ult, but Leonardo still, even if he's not in the middle, obviously his cannon isn't as, fe as effective, but he does go ahead and get that frame off anyway before the irons. So then irons can pretty much just one shot that Athalia. As you can see, Athalia was at about 90, 95% and just got one shotted. So once again, I, I, I really do like the synergies. Just being able to add that 45% damage onto irons damage already is insane. So let's do, actually, let's scrap it. Let's just jump straight into the tower and show you what he can do in tower. So let's go over here. Uh, so if we go here, let's take a look at the deficit that we've got. Uh, we've got we, we've got 3.8 billion. They're on 19 billion. So fairly high, fairly high deficit. Obviously, if you look at the levels, it's about 158 levels, which ain't too bad. So let's just jump in. We'll test this one and show you what's going on here. So he's going to drop those cannons once again. Staple thing, drop the cannons, get some deeps in. So as you can see, at this deficit, doesn't do anywhere near as much damage because the deficit is just huge. But he is going to get the paint on. Iron's getting low because of the um, the thing from, what's his face? From Thorin. But as you can see, that damage was pretty reasonable on those guys at this higher deficit. And that's why I mean that I think he's going to be a pretty much staple in Iron's comps at massive deficits because he just adds that potential to irons um where he starts to fall off once he's like because his attack scaling only goes so far but with that extra damage uh from leonardo i think it's really really adding like increased viability to it so let's hope we get one more irons oh damn damn we're gonna lose it <laughs> we're gonna lose it as i'm propping it up uh i tested it just before and it won <laughs> that's a big rip okay can we frame these two can we frame them Oh no, wait, wait, he's not alive. It, it's Merlin. Ah, rip. Okay, let, let's let's try again because I know I know it clears it, but I want to show you guys. So let's go times four speed. It's just it's just a bit of a pain that the uh the thing goes on to irons here, but we're gonna get the Leonardo right here. Boom, paint into alt, boom. Like everything gets dropped pretty, pretty hard. Um, and if irons can survive to one more alt, we should be good. There we go. Look at that. Whole team survives this time. Oh no! Oh, bullshit. Alright, Thorin, <laughs> Thorin Brutus. Back in a sec because I gotta show you guys the win. Okay, there we go. Took a couple retries, but then we got it. <laughs> it always happens. I test things before a video, works perfectly three times in a row, then I just can't get it to happen. But uh, just to show you guys the win, we'll try the other teams now. I haven't tried them yet uh, on this tower stage, so we'll, we'll have a play and see how effective it is on those ones. But uh, but yeah, I'm I'm really liking Leonardo. Like I don't think he's just like a general top tier hero, but I think he's just a really nice addition to some teams. Um, and I think his nine furniture with the framing will be like really, like really helpful to enable some damage dealers that are based on attack. So let's go back here. Let's jump in. Let's try it on team two. Okay, what's team two look like? Uh, we do have the Nara, so, uh, and Isabella in this one. Let's just leave it, see if he can teleport back to his original position with Nara and see what the interaction is with him. Okay, he just gets shredded by Nara. Okay, that didn't work. So let's try again. Uh, let's do that. 
Let's see how that goes. Out of curiosity. Who's Nara going to grab? We got her stunned, which is nice. Ah, oh, he missed the paint. Missed the paint. Damn it. If we could get the paint, I think it would be solid. I think we'd be solid. Let's, you know what? Let's actually try this. Let's actually try it like this. Here. Okay. Grizzle's going to kill Irons and steal his stats. So that, 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 that ain't going to work. And Isabella ult so fast in that. All right, back in a sec. Okay, we couldn't get it on that second team. A combination of the Nara and Aziz just makes it too hard for that comp. Uh, but we did jump into the third team um, and get it to work on this one quite easily in the end. Uh, now, we did put Irons in the middle because the problem I had was the run-through was actually one-shotting him when he was in the back mid. So I had to put him in the corner so that he could live. Um, and then as you can see, you get the four frames. And then look at that damage. Like 80 to 90% of everyone's health when they're in a frame is just huge when you consider like what Irons can do if he's lacking that. It's, it's actually really nice. So... Like I said, I will come back and do another video of testing him with other teams because I think I think he will have a lot of viability in other teams. I think he's a, like Leonardo is one of those real nice heroes where I feel like they've balanced him pretty well, where he's not completely broken OP, but he's going to be able to enable a few heroes that I'm really excited about. And like I said, Irons was just the the easy one to display uh, on how that was going to happen. But the cool thing is, like even though he's optimal in the middle, so his cannon can hit all enemies, he doesn't need to be either. So he can synergize with a lot of other things as well. Um, and yeah, I'm just excited for a bit more testing on this guy as well. But anyway, guys, that is going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.